I found my new dream bike. This is it. Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker down here at the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. And look what we have for y'all today. This is a dream bike. I've been wanting to ride this one for quite a while. This one belongs to a friend of mine. And uh, I have not driven the Trident. I've driven the Tiger Sports, which is the same engine. But uh, look at this thing. Isn't she just a beauty? This is that Triumph Orange with black. He's got a tech header on it. That's a full system that starts all the way from up here and goes all the way back. Carbon tip, real carbon tip on the back. It's a real beauty of a motorcycle. I am, uh, the little bit that I've driven it, about a mile so far, I've just fallen in love with it. This is the kind of motorcycle that in my youth I'd have just, I'd have killed, uh, killed for it. It's, uh, so it's an inline triple, three cylinder, liquid cooled of course, dual overhead cam, uh, six speed clutch. The motor is, uh, it's got 12 to 1 compression about. It's got uh, about 80 horsepower, 47 foot pounds of torque. That's about 64 Newton meters. Six speed transmission, I already mentioned that. He is getting a quick shifter for it. Um, several of the bikes at Baxter Cycle, this is from Baxter Cycle originally, have quick shifters and uh, they, it's a worthwhile investment, especially on a bike like this. The front brakes on these are 310 millimeter. Look at those dual pot uh, Brembo, or uh, sorry, dual pot Nissans. ABS, you can see the ring there. They're dual, dual uh, disc on the front. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's got the inverted fork. I couldn't find a, uh, it's a 40, 41 millimeter fork, but I couldn't find the travel. If I look for that, I'll, uh, I'll put it down below if I can. But I always love these fenders, these front fenders with the yellow protectors for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, you know, the, the fork, isn't that just gorgeous? The rear brake is a 255 millimeter single pot Nissan. Check that out. Of course, ABS also. I just love that swing arm. Isn't that just beautiful? Kind of like a gull wing or something like that. Monoshock on the rear. Again, I don't know the, uh, the amount of uh, travel there. and I'll, I'll put that down below. Front tire is a 120-70-17. It says Michelin on it. Michelin Road 5. Oh, those are good tires. Those are very good tires. And the back is a 180-55-17. So it's got 17 front and rears, just like any good sport bike should. And uh, isn't that just a mouth-wateringly, just, oh, uh, everything could ever want in a motorcycle look. Check out that tail light, little tram symbol right there. I'm just amazed at all the, everything this thing has. The uh, fuel tank is about a 3.7 gallon, that's 14 liters. Wheelbase, everybody that knows me, you're going to know what I'm going to like this. 55.2 inches, that's 1,401 millimeters. And uh, I love any bike with a 55 in the wheelbase, and this is one of those. And I'm sure this is just a real, can you imagine this in the city, you can just carve up traffic with it. Weight on this motorcycle, yeah, wet, is supposed to be 417 pounds. They lost 10 pounds when they put this pipe on. This pipe is 10 pounds lighter than the one they took off. So 407 pounds, a little over 80 horsepower. I mean, it is a real rocket ship. It will be a real rocket ship. And uh, I'm just not in tune to ride this kind of thing hard right now, but uh, <laughs> you have to practice. This, this is a real, this is, this is a real fun bike. Isn't that just something? I mean, look, look at that. I just love the way that whole front end looks. He's got the fly screen, the Trump branded fly screen on it. He put these end mirrors on here. It's got adjustable levers for the brake. Huh, apparently not the clutch. It's just a, it's just a wild bike, a real wild bike. Of course the pipe, we talked about that. Tech pipe. <coughs> Excuse me. I just love everything about it. I think this is an add-on too, the tank pad. Just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, and of course, because it's a Triumph, Triumph is styling, engineering, quality. It just oozes that all the way through. Look at this. Just a real, real beautiful thing. Uh, stepping up here to the dash area. So uh, the controls right here. Okay, the ignition's right down here. Check out this. Tachometer in the top, fuel gauge, speedometer, gear indicator right through here, a clock, um, engine light, oil light, neutral light, what's that one, ABS light. This bike has two rider modes, I believe. Let's see if we can figure that out. 
Oh, maybe I can't figure it out. Oh, mode button. Road and rain. We'll leave it in road. How's that sound, y'all? <laughs> We're almost full of fuel, too. Can y'all see that? That's a, that's a really good looking display, isn't it? Nice eyeball there for you. Anyway, over here, um, horn, the mode button, blinkers. I'm not sure what these do. I'm sure it has to do with these things, settings and stuff. Then over here, we've got the kill switch, the start switch, the hazard light switch, fly-by-wire throttle, the beer end mirrors, bar end, the bar end mirrors. <laughs> Anyway, what a what a hot ride. I, I just love this tank. Just look at look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? The triumph on the side there. Just uh, fabulous. Fabulous. Look at that radiator. Anyway, she is a real beauty. The minimalist rear end. You know, it just looks like uh I mean, just look at that. This bike has one purpose, and that is excitement and fun. This is a true sport bike. I love it. LED lighting all the way around. You know, what a what a deal. What a deal. Check out these rims. So tubeless tires. Look how wide that back tire is. What did I say it was? A one, it says 180. Whew. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hey, I'm Fuzzy Biker. And I'm going to go take that hot rod for a spin. Wow. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, doesn't that sound good? Wow. Wow. It's a real rocket ship, guys. If y'all are, are in the market for a new or used Royal Infold or Triumph, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle. BaxterCycle.com. Look at that. It's a beautiful day out here in Iowa. All right, let's go have some fun. Wow. This thing is insanely fun so far. Oh my gosh, this is a true wet dream on rubber. <laughs> that pipe is awesome. How did I say, it was a tech pipe, I think? Let's see what we can do for spinning here. 55 uh, inch wheelbase, 55.1, 55.2, something like that, 1400 millimeters. Oh my gosh, this thing is just great. Oh my gosh, this thing is a bullet. I don't mean that in the Royal Enfield way. <laughs> I am wearing my uh, Royal Enfield Cardung Law jacket. And by the way, I'm gonna take the liner out of it. It's actually very warm. It's we're in the 50s here in Iowa. And uh, this jacket is just awesome for bike riding. I don't have my uh, Naru underwear on today, long underwear, because I didn't think I'd need it and I don't. Okay, let's see what we can do here, guys. Aha! Uh -huh, I'm hitting the red limiter. I will tell you right now, it's comfortable. You lean forward in the seat. You do reach for the bars a little bit, but they're not. It's not. It's not like clip-ons. Um, it's a fairly tight triangle. Your feet are uh, below and behind your knees and high up. It's a very nice place to be. I like it. It's definitely a naked bike. You're out there in the open, tacking four and a half, a little more, maybe at 60. Insane. The mirrors are excellent. I love them. They look good. They're, I love that shape, the big here and the uh, elongation. Very good, very good on their part. A little brush in the road there. Wow, this thing is nimble. Oh my gosh. I want, I want, this thing is amazing. <laughs> crazy, crazy fast, crazy fast. I have to take this back. This is not the kind of bike I need to be riding, my friends. Oh man, this is definitely a younger man's bike. And that pipe just eggs you on all the way. Can you hear it singing that song? What a song it sings. This thing feels like it has literally no weight at all. And it's just, it's, this is as close to twitchy as you can get in a Triumph, I believe. 
I would say this is one of the funnest handling triumphs I've ever ridden, to be quite honest. The uh, Street Triple is the old champion of that. The Street Triple is an awesome machine, by the way, with twice the power, a third more power. Uh, here we are at Iowa's biggest, busiest intersection. Iowa's busiest intersection. Wow, this thing is insane. I am absolutely in love with it. I hit the rev limiter again twice. Yeah, this this is insane. Insane. Very close gears on the box. Once a guy got the hang of this bike, it would be unstoppable. Unstoppable. What a machine. What a machine. Wow. I am so impressed with this bike. I just can't even... This is incredible. Even in six, this thing pulls like a madman. I mean, it's just... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we're taking this right back, right now. This is a city burger, a canyon carver. Oh my gosh, this is, this is just bizarro fun, guys. This is my dream bike right here. I found my new dream bike, this is it. I am absolutely impressed with this. And I love the way this thing looks. You know, it isn't that bug bike looking thing. It's got the classic Triumph lines, but yet it looks so modern as well. Just a beautiful thing. And it sings such a lovely song. This thing just sings. It would take an afternoon to get the hang of this bike, but once you had it down, you would be unstoppable. This may be my new favorite Triumph of all time. This is just insanely nice. Wow, that blinker is very smooth, just like any Triumph, I guess. Triumphs always had the best switch gear, the best fueling, the best brakes. You know, this bike has Nissans and they're still the best. I've experienced these brakes with the uh, Tiger Sport. And uh, this bike, you know, this bike is 30 or 40 pounds lighter than the Tiger Sport, but it just feels so much Let's see how she turns here. Feels so much lighter. Just so much lighter. That's a derailed grill. You get a chance to uh, come to Warren, Iowa, get that place, give that place a try. Okay, I'm gonna calm right down. Good grief. What a rocket ship. Okay, my friends, conclusion. I love this motorcycle. I want one of these. I'm too old to have one. <laughs> I would get in way too much trouble. It's a real powerhouse. It's got loads of torque, loads of energy. It handles like you wouldn't believe. It's really a dream on rubber. It really is a dream on rubber. I am in love, absolutely in love. All right, y'all. If it's nice where you're at, get out and ride, my friends. Wahoo! Here we are, safely home. <laughs> That's always a good thing.